the King of Fighters. Select member. Shelly, go! How to describe you based on your choice? Hardworking, resplendent, strong of heart and mind, an inspiration to all, the envy of men, the desire of women, and possibly a sex offender. Ah! What? I'm not just saying all this because I'm a Terry main? Get out of here. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the greatest character to ever grace the fighting game genre and how you're stupid and wrong if you don't use him. Alright, alright, all jokes aside now, I love Terry Bogard. Only reason I got into KOF was because of this guy. He's got a great design, great personality, and his playstyle and moveset is very beginner friendly while also being satisfying as hell for veterans. If you're familiar with Terry, whether that be through previous KOFs or the numerous guest appearances he's made, I'm happy to report that he's just as you remember, and the few changes have been for the better. First of all, those arms are not for show. I don't know what Wheaties Terry ate between KOF 14 and 15, but this man is a bomb that devastates all with his wild damage output. Combine this with combo routes that are very easy to grasp, along with options at all ranges and you have yourself a really strong character. Not a perfect character though, those heavy hits do come at a price, as almost everything in his moveset is unsafe or at the very least negative on both hit and block. Also, Rising Taku, my man, you look dumb as hell, still love you though, but not a great anti-air, a running theme in Terry's moveset. But even then, this is still a character that arguably can go anywhere on your team. I personally had him at mid, but with the damage he can do now, do yourself a favor and make him your anchor. Give him the bars and he can just tear through people. His normals? All normal here. Everything works as expected, except for a close light kick. Why is this not a low? Let's get into those commands with back knuckle. Forward plus light punch. Now I barely used this move in KOF 14 due to it being non-special cancelable for whatever reason, but thankfully that was changed so here is some good combo filler. When used alone it can also be used as a decent poke, but I prefer far heavy kick. This move does hit crouching opponents though unlike the kick so your choice. Rising upper is the other, down forward plus heavy punch. This is one of Terry's fastest strikes and doubles as an okay anti-air too. You're going to be hearing okay anti-air a couple times during this guide. The speed of this move also allows it to be used in combos that wouldn't work with the slower back knuckle. Terry's got a number of specials, but all are pretty simple to break down. Let's start with his projectile, Power Wave, done with a quarter circle forward plus punch. The light version rides along the ground at a slower pace, while the heavy version moves quick. Use this for keeping opponents at a distance, finishing off a combo, or setting up a super. The EX version hits multiple times, allowing it to be used mid-combo, especially effective in the corner. Burning Knuckle is next, quarter circle back, and punch. Another combo ender or super setup move, but it has much better damage that only increases with the heavy and EX versions. It's also pretty good for punishing with moves at mid to far range, and can sometimes catch unsuspecting opponents off guard. This is also one of two specials Terry has that can be plus on block, but you have to make contact with the very end of the animation to make it so. Any other range, and you're eating a reversal. Quarter circle back and kick will give you crack shoot. This flip kick is able to hop over ground based projectiles, but what you really want to use it for is approaching and pressure. Yes, the EX version does cause a soft knockdown and does more damage, but the heavy version has great horizontal range and can even give you the frame advantage if you hit it near the end. The light version also gives you the advantage, but at any range, making this his best pressure tool. Even when blocked, this move is really hard to reverse, and you can also add it to the pile of okay anti-airs. Not recommended that you use it for this, as the startup makes it pretty ineffective. But how about his designated anti-air move? Rising Tackle, now done with a Z motion forward and punch. Normally it was a down up charge motion. But even with the 98 callback, I still hesitate to call this move good. 
but it's got that invulnerability and is one of the most ridiculous looking moves in fighting games. What's not to love, you may be saying. Two problems. One, this move is unbelievably unsafe. I know that DPs in general are unsafe moves, but look at all this time you've got to punish. If you whiff or have this move blocked, you're basically putting a neon sign on Terry's ass asking for a beating. And two, this move has awful damage if you don't have the exact positioning. If you don't know, the purpose of an anti-air is to dissuade opponents from jumping in unless they want a chunk of their HP knocked off. That is nowhere to be found here unless you start the move at the last possible second. Otherwise, we're talking 1-6% to damage here. One last thing to mention, and if you're a fan of sensible animations, please avert your eyes now, is that the first hit of this special can be super cancelled. Next special is Power Charge, Half Circle, Forward, and Kick. This one may look like a slower and weaker burning knuckle, but actually this is your most sought after option for combos. First, disregard the heavy option. Sure, it gives you the frame advantage when used at mid-range and is way safer when used at close range and all that crap, but that pales in comparison to what you can do with the light and EX versions, even if they're way unsafe. The light version can be cancelled into Rising Tackle and Power Dunk, but you're really only going to be using either Light Power Dunk or Heavy Rising Tackle. The former causes a hard knockdown and the latter does the most damage. Light Rising Tackle is just less damage and Heavy Power Dunk doesn't even connect. I don't even know why the game gives you this option. If you got some meter on hand, you may want to spring for the EX version instead. This move causes a crumple and from that point, <laughs> Take your pick. All of them hurt. Oh, by the way, Power Dunk, hi! Where have you been for the last 17 years? Waiting for Terry to pick you up at Smash Bros? Well, either way, it's nice to have you back. Move is done with a Z Motion Forward plus Kick. As mentioned previously, you're mostly going to use this as an ender for Power Charge, but alone, this is a great move for attacking projectile tossers. The EX version is another great mid combo option as it causes a floor bounce. Also, another okay anti air, but the timing for this is pretty stingy. Now, it's time for a pair of legendary moves. Quarter circle back, then half circle forward plus punch brings out Terry's first super. But this move lacks in horizontal range, it more than makes up for with its vertical reach. This combo ender is actually one of Terry's better anti-air options as it has invincibility on startup and does some nice damage. Last move now, but before we get to it, some kind words from Mr. Bogard. Are you okay? What a gentleman. As you heard, this is Buster Wolf. If Power Geyser controls the skies, then this is the move that controls the ground. It travels almost full screen and is a very satisfying combo ender. Terry has the versatility to do whatever job you need for him, but if you want him at his best, then that's with 5 bars and wrecking the life of some poor opponent. Get that close heavy, then unload all those built up bars with EX Power Charge, EX Power Dunk, and his supers. But if you got him at point or mid, he's still got plenty of tools to do well. On offense, you can keep the meter free pressure up with a mix of light crack shoot and heavy power charge. Then if you can open them up in the corner, you can do a good bit of damage with light power charge. Defensively, things will be a bit tougher, but you can still knock opponents out of the air with a well-timed rising tackle or power geyser. If you're against Terry, don't be intimidated by his potential damage output, but do keep it in the back of your mind as well. This is not a character you want to try and beat to the punch. Keep it smart and keep it safe until Terry brings out one of his many unsafe moves. Then you can dish out punishment of your own. Also, if you've got a character that excels in aerial movement, you are going to give him some fits, as he doesn't have any strong counters against that type of play unless he burns some meter.
legendary Hungry Wolf has his guide now. Always happy to see your use some Terry. If you liked or found this guide helpful, I ask that you like this video, subscribe to this little channel of mine, and leave a comment down below. See you guys for the next guide, and... Oh yeah, Terry has a brother, doesn't he? I should probably talk about him. You what a stellar fight! These two know how to rumble! Winner! I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it.